This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. We have arrived in Sector 112 and request targeting data. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship Enorma Prize for another episode of Homeworld Complex. Okay, so today we are doing something completely different than we normally do. Um, I have added some requests from you guys saying that you wanted to see all of the different ships that are in the Homeworld Complex mod. And um, I totally agree. I think that would be a fantastic video. So this video, what I'm going to do is showcase all of the um, ships on the uh, um, Higaran side. And in the next video, we're going to do all the ships on the Vega side. So as you can see right now, I am a fleet admiral. <laughs> I just did that so everything will be unlocked. And I'm just going to go through all of the ships. We're going to build one of every single type of ship of fighter, one of every um, corvette, one of every frigate, blah, 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 so on and so forth. And then we, I'm just going to show them off, tell you how they work. Won't really be able to use them in combat, mainly because of the fact that, um, um, well, I do have the game set up to where I have an ally who's fighting an enemy and I'm hoping they, you know, keep each other busy so that they don't focus on me and I can just focus on showcasing stuff. So yeah, let me just go ahead and get my economy going. We'll build every single fighter there is and yeah, we'll go from there. Hey everybody, this is Editing Soban. Um, I kind of want to say a couple things before we continue on with this video. First off, this video took a, a long time to record. I actually did this over a course of three separate days. And uh, because of that, and because of all the explaining I had to do with all the ships, there was a lot more to explain than I originally thought there would be. I decided to split this series into three parts. The first one is going to be fighters. Uh, it's, first one's going to be covering fighters, corvettes, and frigates. Second one will cover destroyers, cruisers, and battle cruisers. And the third one will be covering production ships, non combat ships, and unique ships to the mod. So I kind of wanted to let you know, and again, I'm still in the editing process, so depending on how long it, uh, it takes to edit these and how long the videos actually come out to be, there might actually be four parts where um, I'll probably split up uh, production ships as kind of like their own one, production and non-combat ships and the unique ships. I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out. But expect three or four videos in this series, and then when we also um, record the... Uh, Vager side, I'm going to do the same exact thing, just pl uh, chop them up into three or four parts just to make it easier for me and um, it won't be like a two hour video for you guys. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Alrighty, that took a lot of prep time. <laughs> I finally got all of the fighters built. Um, I had to do a lot of research and whatnot and uh, uh, do a lot of harvesting as you can see back here in the background um, but we have them all built so I can finally discuss them and tell you tell you guys everything about them in case you're curious this took 40 minutes of prep time <laughs> so hopefully the other ones won't take quite that long but I have a feeling I have a feeling they might let me go ahead and pause that because we we don't need that to be going off anymore anyways um, these first units in front of us are the scouts these are the first, um, these are the basic reconnaissance units in the game. They, I'm going to have to bring this up to kind of reference it a little bit because I don't have all the stuff memorized. Uh, but they have a light defensive a kinetic gun. They're not really designed for combat. That's more for defending it, um, defending itself as it flees from battle. Um, has electronic uh, magnetic pulse emitter, which I don't exactly know what it does, but if I would have to guess, I would assume that would disable an enemy ship, so you can disable it and then run away. And then it also has a sensor ping, which costs some resources, but allows you to uh, ping somewhere on the map to kind of see what the heck is going on with the enemy. Okay, so those are the scouts. Our next ones over here are the interceptors. Copy. Now the interceptors are from the base game. This isn't part of the mod, same with the scouts. But these are your main dogfighters. These are the these are the main ships that are gonna go up against um, that are gonna go up against other fighters at the beginning of the game. These are your basic basic fighters, and that's pretty much all you really need to know about them. Um, they just go head to head with other fighters. Um, let's see, our next one is our bombers. These are again in the base game. These are your basic bombers. Uh, they don't have any, they're not really good at dogfighting, but they're really good at fight, at uh, t 
Ula, they're really good at shooting their bombs against slow moving capital ships. Um, these are also the basic versions. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Use these against large capital ships, and um, they're also pretty good against subsystems. But these next ones over here. Oh, wait, those are the heavy bombers. We're not ready for those ones yet. Where's the one I'm looking for? Also, we need to skip this song because, yeah. For some reason, this mod always knows when I'm recording. It always plays the really loud songs whenever uh, stuff is going on. But these are the ones I'm looking for. These are the X bombers. These bombers um, are specialized against subsystems. So you can use them against like product productive type ships to try to disable their systems so they can't build um, ships like they're supposed to or use them to disable an enemy engine so you can kill them with other types of ships. Uh, but these guys aren't really good against capital ships. They're really good against subsystems though. Okay, our next one on our list are our spies, which are these guys over here. These are the advanced reconnaissance fighters. Um, they have a, a built-in cloak generator that is always active, so they can only be detected by things that um, detect cloak. They can do everything that a scout can do, um, and they also, um, yeah, they're also obviously faster and whatnot than a scout because they're the advanced version. And like I said, they have that cloaking generator that is always active. Reporting. I, oh wait, you have to activate it. Cloaking field online. Never mind. I. Th I swear I thought the description said it was always active, but it's integrated, so you don't have to have something to cloak it, it can just cloak itself. Cloaking offline. Okay, and then next up on the list is my favorite fighter in the mod, that is the intruders. Now intruders are kind of like anti-fighter, anti-corvette hybrids. They are very good. Um, they have lancers, not lancers. They have, I forgot what they're called, pulsars? Yeah, they have two pulsar laser guns in front of them, making it effective against fighting other corvettes. Um, it also has two anti-capital ship plasma bomb launchers. So it's it's like a fighter corvette um, capital ship hybrid. It's probably my favorite fighter in this mod. I love this fighter. Um, and it's very, like I said, it's very versatile. And it kind of, now that I'm really looking at it, it looks like an interceptor, a Kushan interceptor, because um, this right here reminds me of the scout, like a Kushan scout and interceptor kind of put together. With maybe a little bit of a um, Tidan defender down here. Looks, looks very interesting. I love it. This is my favorite fighter. Uh, but next on our list is the Shirley, which is this one over here. Now, Shirley's are your advanced interceptors. These guys come with two kinetic cannons, and they, they can be effective against frigates and capital ships when upgraded, but these guys are basically faster and more maneuverable than a, uh, um, an interceptor. So once you get the ability to make these, um, I definitely recommend replacing your interceptors with these guys. I don't really use these guys a whole lot myself because I love the intruder of its uh, multi-purpose role, um, but I probably should prob use these more in my videos. Okay, and then finally, the last one on our list are the, do not move, did not mean to do that, are the heavy bombers. Those are the X bombers. Where are the heavy bombers? There they are. <laughs> Ready. And the heavy bombers are the upgraded versions of the um, normal bombers. They're faster, have more armor, and more firepower than a normal bomber. But they do the same exact thing. They're really good at taking out anti um uh, capital ships, disabling their uh, subsystems, and just overall better than the actual bombers. Um, I don't think they come with anything special. You know, just more plasma bomb launchers. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Um, that's all the fighters. Um, coming up next, uh, we will talk about the uh, corvettes that the um, Kushan, not the Kushan, <laughs> that the Higarans can build in the uh, 9.1 version, 9.1 complex version. Alrighty, um, time, let's see, let's try that again. Okay, so now that we got done checking out the fighters, it's time to check out the Corvettes. 
Um, one thing I do want to say before we actually start, I was taking a look at some of the fighters before we actually, while I was building all the uh, Corvette stuff, and I was kind of wrong about the scouts and spies. Scouts, as you can see, supporting. Holy crap! They're actually attacking me. That's not supposed to happen. Anyways, we'll make this quick then. Under attack. Um. Is taking light enemy fire. Ooh, the scouts are um. About 528, that's give or take. They've been upgraded a couple times while I was doing all this. And the spies are actually 384. They are much slower, but they do have that auto cloak technology. Um, so that's cool. Um, yeah, hopefully we can beat those. That should be fine. Mothership. I, I know this isn't part of the video, but let me make sure I actually upgrade the mothership all the way. I should have. Oh, forgot to build underway. the heavy cannon, so we'll build that now. But anyways, let's actually get over here to where we're supposed to be doing, and hopefully I can get this done before the mothership... Oh yeah, the, there's like... We're fine, we're fine. <laughs> Back to the video! Anyways, um, Corvettes. This is the first kind of Corvettes. It's the cheapest. Uh, these are your gunship Corvettes. Um, these are your basic anti-fighter Corvettes that you will be starting the game out with, mostly. They're, as you can tell, very basic. Um, these are the same Corvettes you would get in the actual base game. Um, they just have turrets and they uh, fight fighters. They don't quite do enough damage to handle Corvettes, so this is more for anti-fighter role. Um, but yeah, this is what they are. These are your anti-fighter Corvettes. And then the next one over here, this is the next one in line, the Pulsar gunships. These ones are good against corvettes, but not good against fighters. This turret here is too large to, to track down fighters, but it does an excellent job against other corvettes. And it's not strong enough to fight any type of ship bigger than that. So this these Pulsar gunships would be your main anti-corvette type corvette. Um, and let's see, the next one I believe is back here. These are the, these are the EMP corvettes. These are new to the mod. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of firepower going on down mothership. there. Um, let me go ahead and turn the mothership's bubble on that we'll be talking about later on in the future. Defense field powered up. So just in case something screwy happens. But it looks like the mothership's handling it no problem. But anyways, Reporting. back to what we were doing. Um, the EMP Corvettes, I believe, are anti-frigate? Let me see. Uh, do 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 corvettes and frigates. So these would be your main anti-frigate um, uh, corvettes. The EMP um, turret is um, well, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a very small projectile, so fire. ignore all that stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk over it. Um, this one, this turret will shoot right over fighters and corvettes, and it's. Yeah, not quite strong enough to handle anything bigger than a frigate. So these would be your main anti-frigate corvettes. And the next one up is the plasma, which I actually skipped. That was supposed to be before this one. Boop, boop, boop. Which one of you are plasma? There you are. Upgrades available. So these are your plasma gunships. These are basically the your... Um, is under light attack. These are your corvette bombers. These ones are very strong against like frigates, destroyers... Um, any type of big capital ship, but the they're useless against fast-moving units. Fire. The mothership is fine. Shut up. Let me do my video. So yeah, you, you will be That's using all. these Red against order. large capital ships, and that's about it. Um, and they cost 800, so they're not super expensive. Under I mean, yeah, well, we're done with the it's fighter stuff, attack. so that's perfectly fine. Uh, so next is the mine layer corvette, which is like a keystone type of um, the ship. Is receiving light Will you guys freaking shut up and let me do my video? God, this is the most chaotic video I've ever done. Ugh. Whatever. Anyways, the mine layer corvettes have been around since Homeworld 1. And now we have loud music. Nothing wants me to do this video correctly. Everything was perfectly fine when I was preparing everything, but when the I want to do the video, the game's just attack. like, no, we're going to give you a bunch of things that are going to kill your mothership, and... Yeah. 
whatever. Anyways, my letter Corvette. First, That's all of them. this was Maybe all the way more. back from Homeworld 1. These are probably one of my favorite Corvettes of all time. Because um, all they do is just deploy mine. Um, deploy mines and um, and move around. And the mines are super effective against large capital ships. They're too slow to really be used against fighters and corvettes. But frigates, capital ships, battle cruisers, they're really, really powerful against. So basically, you you can use a mine layer corvette for either offense or defense. I mainly use it for defense. I will create like a minefield around my mothership to protect it against large capital ships. Or you can go on the offensive and um, build a small fleet of... or um, build a uh, um, like a, a layer of mines like in front of the enemy mothership you of course the mothership's gonna have to be distracted or it's gonna destroy the mine layer corvette um, quickly but that is a strategy you can actually do next up on our list is the minigun which is my favorite corvette in this mod um, the minigun corvette comes with a lot of things it has four kinetic turrets, um, a mine sweeper system, um, anti-fighter and corvette um, mine deployment system. So this one has like fast tracking mines um, that are good against um, smaller vehicles. It has a crap ton of kinetic turrets and um, I forgot I had that autosave up set up. <laughs> Anyways, so this guy is kind of like a multi-role ship. He's good against fighters and corvettes. Um, and uh, frigates. Uh, and large large groups, these guys can be very deadly. But I think his main role would be against actual, uh, corvettes. But with those fast moving mines, he's good against fighters, and with all these turrets, he can do enough damage to actually take down frigates in large groups. Um, okay, and the next one after that is the Pulsar Mecha Gun um, ship, which is this one right here. This is also in the mod. This one, this ship is pretty darn decked out. It's got four uh, pulsar turrets, um, four dual um, kinetic cannon turrets. What are you even good against? Fighters, corvettes, and frigates. So you're like the upgrade version. Oh, your miniguns are only good against fighters and corvettes. Oh yeah, because it has the uh, the fast tracking mines instead of, the, um, instead of other things. So forget what I kind of said about the miniguns, they're still my favorite ship, but they're only good against fighters and corvettes. Now Pulsar mecha guns, because of all their weapons, let's see exactly what they have. Four kinetic turrets, two heavy Pulsar laser turrets, and it has a built-in um, shield generator that you can activate in combat when you haven't researched. So these are these are very powerful corvette class ships, um, and they it has enough firepower, like I said, to take down frigates, especially in large groups. But I think, I think I would probably put these up, eh, probably against a small squadron of frigates, like the ones that tried to destroy my mothership earlier, and um, large squadrons of uh, corvettes. He's definitely good against frigates, good with the built-in shield generator. But our last one is the Ion Mecha Gun, which are these guys right here. They have. The kinetic turrets on the side as well, and they have the ion cannon turrets on on top and below them. These guys are very good against uh, capital ships. Basically, and they also have the built-in shield generator like the uh, um, Pulsar versions. I would actually kind of, I kind of think of these guys as um, acolytes, or super acolytes from Homeworld Cataclysm, except as a um, Corvette class. But uh, I tend not to use these guys too much. I don't know. I, I like to use the anti-capital ship role for other type of ships. But yeah, these ones would be good against your destroyers and probably in large groups they could probably take down battle cruisers. But uh, that might be a stretch. Anyways, that's uh, that's all the uh, different types of corvettes and the um, Higaran side on the complex mod at the moment. Uh, when we come back, uh, we will be taking a look at the frigate class. Hopefully we won't get raided too many more times. Alrighty, now that we got done talking about corvettes, it's time to start talking about frigates. Okay, so before we actually get this going, there's a couple things I need to um, say. 
One, this is actually day two of recording this because this took a little bit longer than I thought. Harvesters, shut up. I know you're getting done harvesting this area, but you'll you'll be done soon. But anyways, um, going back to the fighters and corvettes, um, a couple things I forgot to mention. Um, as you get further down the tree of the uh, fighters, the more advanced research obviously it requires to research it and to actually build it. So, for instance, fighters, um, spies, intruders, shirleys, and heavy bombers all require um, the research division, which is the second tier of research that you get Attention once you get, I think it's 100, get back here, 150 uh, research points. And then the other ones, the basic ones, uh, the scout, interceptor, and bomber, and I believe X-bomber. Yeah, all these require just the basic science vision that you start out with. Also, um, fighters only have areas for one crew member. So this squadron of fighter or bombers here, which is a, a 5X, takes a five crew like points. Oh, shut up, you guys. Stop it. All you guys, just move away. <laughs> Tired of you guys complaining. So these guys uh, will require five crew members to create a squadron of five. Now you can't actually adjust these numbers. This is part of Homeworld 2, because Homeworld 2 makes everything squadrons for fighters and corvettes. But as you can see, um, your reconnaissance units, like um, recons and spies, come with squadrons of three, which you can't really see. There you go, because my mouse was in the way for some reason. So that means these guys will require three crew members. Now corvettes are kind of different in a different aspect of that because um, corvettes are larger so they can hold more crew members. Each one of these little ships require two crew members. So this is a squadron of three, so that means it takes six crew members to build this. And I believe all of the corvettes are like that, even the big ones. No, the big ones require three crew members each, so it's nine altogether. And um, like the fighters, as you get further through the tech tree, and this is for everything, frigates, uh, destroyers, um, all, all of your ships, the further down you go, the more, the higher the research level it needs. So like for corvettes, your basic ones, like uh, um, gunships and pulsar gunships just require the research station. Then once you get to um, plasma, EMP, mine layer, Minigun, these all require the science level, and then the two, the Pulsar Mechagun and Ion Mechagun, require the engineering division, which is the third one. And let's go ahead and change the soundtrack. You know, I know it's probably almost over. Let's get something homeworld related, please. There we go. That'll work. So the reason I was kind of mentioning that is now that we're messing with frigates and larger, um, larger ships, holy crap. They, the enemy is not Ship messing around attack. anymore. Mothership frigate facility under attack. But anyways, Mothership. The Mothership frigates over is here. Receiving light fire. I guess I could tell these guys to go help out because we're done messing around with them. Um, frigates. The more advanced the frigate is, the larger, more complicated it is, which means the more um, crew members it requires. It's so like the basic one that we're going to be looking at, which is the flak frigate, requires six crew members. And then the most advanced, which is the Tolwar frigate, requires nine. So kind of just wanted to mention that because I wasn't really talking too much about it. Um, hang on, I do need to tell the mothership to use its shield. Use this powered up. on a list on that locked. guy, Copy. and hopefully I can get through this video without too many more interruptions. But anyways, let's talk about frigates. So the first one that you can build is the Flak Frigate. This is, a, um, this is immediately available as soon as you build your Ship frigate facility. Attack. And all this does, all this is, is an anti-fighter um, uh, frigate because all it has is two Flak turrets, which are only good against fighters. 
Now in a large, a decent group, they can be good against Corvettes, and even in a large Corvette group, one, I've actually used guy. these to take down a large group of, uh, or not a large group, but a, a small group of frigates. But anything bigger than a frigate, these guys are going to be completely useless against. Yes. Okay, cool. We're still doing good. I'm also going to put these guys in evasive. Stand down. We're on hold. Just in case they get the audacity that they want to join the fight. Okay, so our next ship um, you can research is the Missile Frigate. Now, in Homeworld 2, this was actually called the Torpedo Frigate. Uh, they renamed Another it in this mod. Light I don't exactly know why they did. It could be because of the fact that, uh, um, you know, the Homeworld universe has a bunch of missile-based ships. You have the Missile Destroyer, uh, Missile Corvette, so maybe just naming this the Missile Frigate just prevented some confusion. But anyways, this just has a couple um, torpedoes that it shoots out. So this is your primary um, ship that you'll be using against, I believe, it's corvettes and frigates. Um, the missiles are too slow to track down fighters. They can. Um, they are effective against it. But the flak frigates is more effective against them. This is mainly for small groups of frigates and um, corvettes. Then your next one... Um, which is part of the mod, is your Sniper Frigate. Standing by. Now, the Sniper Frigate requires the Science Division, so that's your second research tree. And um, pretty much all it has is, I believe, it has one weapon, a very long-range Pulsar um, weapon that kind of annoys the enemy. And um, its goal is just to um, do damage to an enemy from a very far distance. Um, it's, uh, it's actually... Uh, let's see, I'm kind of reading this a little bit. Yeah, it's only good against other frigates. Um, this turret is um, very long range, so it's not really good at tracking down fighters and corvettes. It could be kind of good against corvettes, but it's more like, mainly good against annoying frigates from afar. Now, next on our list is the marine frigate, which is right here. Roger. This is the... Um, uh, this is the main ship you'll be using in the game to capture enemy ships. It doesn't really have a whole lot of defenses itself, has a small kinetic turret on top, so it can do a little bit of damage against frigates, can't really track down fighters or corvettes. Um, its, its primary goal is to capture enemy ships, so um, this is also what uh, Captain Soban, the character that I named my YouTube channel on, um, uses in combat, but his is more of a modified version with a rapid fire um, kinetic turret, so it does a good amount of damage against frigates, and um, I don't think he has the ability to actually uh, um, capture enemy ships. So, yep, yeah, that is the marine frigate. Next up on our list is the defense field frigate. Ready. Now, the defense field frigate, um, it has no weapons of its own. Um, oh, actually, I lied. Apparently it does have a small kinetic turret protecting it. But it's not really made to go in that combat. Its main purpose is to activate a shield. And what that allows it to do is um, the ships that are within the shield radius will be protected from incoming fire. Now this protects against missiles, um, kinetic cannons, um, basically any type of projectile based weapon. Energy beams I believe can go through shield so like depleted. Recharging. so like ion can um, beams and stuff like that can go through. Um, on this mod, mothership. the mothership has a built-in um, generator that you can build on it, uh, right here, defense field. So the mothership can have that activated, protecting its nearby ships and protecting itself from um, large, uh, large amounts of damage. Roger. And the defense field is also one of the main ships that was actually in the homeworld too, so. This this was one of the ships you would use to protect your protect your ships against you know large incoming fire to try to give yourself an advantage against the enemy. Now next on our list is my favorite frigate of all time. If any of you guys follow or watch me ready. You know, play any type of homeworld content, you know I always rave about ion cannon frigates. Um, they are my favorite ships of all time in the homeworld universe. All it is is a ship with a giant particle beam in the middle. This b particle beam is very powerful against other frigate type ships and can even go up against uh, destroyer class ships in large groups. But it makes it completely useless against anything smaller than a frigate class ship. Because that 
this ship does not have the maneuverability to track down corvettes or fighters. Um, I believe this also in this mod requires a science division as well. Yeah, it does. So yeah, here is the Higaran Iron Cannon Frigate. Now last on our frigate list, we have the Tolwar Frigate. Ready. This is um, part of the mod. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of information for you on this ship because I don't use it a lot how much myself. Uh, but according to this, it has three plasma cannons, four pulsar turrets, and two EMP turrets when it's fully upgraded. So this baby is very good against um, corvettes, very good against frigates, and even good against uh, destroyer class ships as well in large groups. Um, it also has a built-in shield generator, so I can activate that right now. This baby will protect it for a while, just like how the defense field frigate makes a giant shield generator to protect uh, her shield projection that protects uh, nearby ships. This one has one built into it. So this is the most advanced ship, uh, frigate ship that uh, Hikarans can build. It requires the engineering division in order to make it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Also looks pretty well too. I like where the bridge is. Um, let's see, those are the pulsar lasers. And those are the plasma lasers. Yeah, ship is pretty darn cool. Okay. So next up, um, we're going to talk about a bunch of, or we're going to build all the destroyers and talk about those. Attention fleet, Macan has found Valcora Gate. The coordinates are 11344890. We'll send everything we've got, but be advised, we are a mining vessel. It would be best if we did not have to move directly into the main battle. 